I guess I'll show off the full first pack because people are still showing up. Two-headed Slivar. Slipstream Serpent. Edge of Autumn. I thought that was a movie. Feebleness. Search for Tomorrow. Gem Hide Sliver. Avon Rift Watcher. Uh, Prismatic Lens. Okay. Might be worth a little something if I pull it in foil. Temporal Isolation. Whoops. <laughs> Skittering Monstrosity. Stone Cloaker. And there should be, I think, a rare behind her. Uh, Extirpate. I don't remember that being worth nothing, but it's a, I mean, it's an instant black split second. Like, how bad could it be, you know? And then we got, I think, the time card. <laughs> oh, Treasure Cruise. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That might be something. Metallic Slivar. Let's look that up. Uh, that's only eight bucks. I mean, still, that's that's roughly equivalent to a regular foil. All right. <laughs> it's all stream, dude. All stream. All right. Dusk Rider Peregrine. <laughs> Might Sliver. All slivers get plus two, plus two. That's disgusting. Mystical Teachings. Nice card. And... Swarm Yard. Okay, that's like a good 20, I think. I'll look it up. And... Goblin Engineer. Hmm. The problem is they don't say the rarity of any of these, so... Uh, uh Goblin Engineer is six bucks. Okay. And, uh... Swarm Yard is not in the top 60. Okay, must not be quite what I thought it was. <laughs> All right, let's go. A real quick sort for rarity here without peeking. There we go. I'm just going to put these upside down or it's going to confuse me. There we go. All right, we've got Cordurge. Pultis Sliva. Calciderm. And Muraganda Petroglyphs. Well, creatures with no abilities get plus two plus two. The vanilla army, what's up? Just realized I put these in the wrong pile. <laughs> I'm a professional. I can do this professionally. Oh, and then Slimefoot. Okay, that ain't big money, but he's cool. I like him. We got a knight. Wait. Oh, those would be right side up. God. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Premature burial. Whoops. Wipe away. Oh, I love that art. Skittering Monstrosity. And Urborg. Hello. Hello. <laughs> really slow on them horns. Bonitas Unas. Does that mean beautiful one? I don't know what un or Unas. My God, I speak freaking Spanish. This is more entertaining than Rudy. Watching a cat like give birth is more entertaining than Rudy. That's the first place my brain went. All right, we've got a Trinket Mage, and I think we have a card below it. So Urborg is big money. That's that's legit, like, a lot of money. Now, in that frame, not so much, but... Oh, wait, no, it's... They don't have them in both frames, or either or. I I'll look it up. Oh, beautiful nails. Aren't I bleeding right there? <laughs> and, oh, a Salad Germinator. I love Salad. All right, that's the foil. We got an assembly worker. Those are fun. So let me just, uh, my trinket mage ain't in the top, but Urborg is 20 bucks. That's exactly what I thought it was. Why don't I just guess? Probably because I was wrong last time. Pretty, uh, solid box so far. All right, here we go. Dread Return. Mm, yes. Outsider, for God's sake. <laughs> Outsider Encore. Uh, does that mean an English speaking core person? <laughs> uh, Dormant Sliver. And Jaya Ballard Task Page. Uh, not worth looking up. I know it's not very high. Master of the Pearl Trident. I mean, he's not bad. Oh, and then a foil. Coral Trickster. Neat. Oh, and that's a regular foil. Okay, and this was also a regular foil. That's right. You can get a foil um, uh, time shifted, but. Nobody really knows the rarity, I guess. 
So, I mean, add another 50 bucks to the box value, I would assume, on average. We're, we're flirting with, like, 500 bucks on the high end, but I think Card Kingdom's prices are an absolute fantasy. Uh, let's see, what was, it? what was I looking up? Oh. Uh, Master of the Pearl Trident is $8. These are about $8 packs, so, uh, hey, take it. <laughs> Maybe I should show my foot on cam. It's all bruised to hell still. It's pretty messed up, dude. I'd probably get a channel strike if I showed it. All right, here we go. Fire Ma Kavu. Whoops. <laughs> As I slap all of you. I just slapped the COVID off of all of you. Spell Burst. Cool. Kelsiderm, which I'm pretty sure is a medication. And Cloud Key. Okay, I think that's a little bit. And Consuming Aberration. Oh, and then a foil. Ridged or Rigid. Not sure. Cusite. Griffin Guide, Gaia's Anthem. If you say it, Gaia, you're an idiot. It's Gaia. Clockwork Hydra, and Pact of the Titan. Okay, that's a packed card. I mean, how low could it be? Probably pretty low. Manifold Key. Okay, okay, okay. Sol Dia. That Manifold ain't in the top 60. And Pact of the Titan ain't in the top 60, so they're probably below... It would be below six bucks, so not necessarily bad, but below the cost of a pack. I might have five bucks and five bucks sitting there for all I know. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I'm, it, this is not going to be a good sorting job. I am not concentrating now, and I got, like, no sleep. All right, here we go. I had to get up early. I got four hours of sleep. I had to go pick something up in extremely south Wisconsin. Basalt Gargoyle. Conflagrate. Dormammu and oh wheel of fate we got a mythic here I think that's uh, not one of the better ones but it's a mythic so hey and gourmet gangler I love that card ain't worth shit but I love it all right oh happy uh Irish people day or whatever something about some saint or I don't know I should know I'm Irish I'm like one eighth Irish possibly somewhere between like zero and 18 percent I'm pretty sure I'd take a DNA test but you know all right, we got whatever this is. We've got Cryptic Enelid. Whoops. <laughs> Spellburst, again. And Safi Eric's Daughter. Huh. I don't remember that card. And Dovin's Veto. Don Vito. Hey. Oh, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Hooray for the Irish. I'm going to go beat up. Be because of my Irish heritage, I'm going to go beat up people at the bars. <laughs> I don't think I can even afford to get a hot dog at the bars these days, man. My taxes, every time I... I find a new 1099k, it gets worse, which, I mean, is literally how that works, but... Hey, Don Vito's worth uh, six bucks. Nice. And Safi's not even on the radar, shocker. Spore Sower Thalid. Henchfiend of Ukor. Conflagrate, again. <laughs> and Glittering Wish. Okay, I thought that's actually pretty spicy. And Alesha, that's not spicy at all. She is extremely vanilla. Oh, nope, Glittering ain't that high. So, uh, the big, big, big ones, in case you're wondering, are, uh, Ponder, Thoughtseize, Chalier of the Void, Sliver Legion, obviously, used to be higher, Leyline of the Void, Damnation, Abrupt Decay, Gemstone Caverns, obviously, Kiki Jiki Freaky Mirror Breaker, uh, Tarmogoyf, obviously, uh, Yawgmoth, that'd be nice, Pact of Negation, Panamonicon, Primetime, True Name, uh, Urborg, which we pulled, Vesuva, and, uh, Chroma's, uh, Chroma's Memorial on down, Dismember is still, uh, there we go. Treadship Reef, <laughs> Avain Min Sensor, <laughs> Paradise Plume, Itamien, Coalition Relic, which I think is not very much. Vanquisher's freaking banner is some money, though. Hey, yo, that's got to be at least like 12. I mean, I'm going to be mad if that's less than 12. Vanquish, $15. What's up? This is a solid box. Coalition isn't as high as I thought. It's only a couple bucks. So, all right, here we go. Might of Old Crosa, badass card right there. That actually is probably worth over a dollar. Uh, Char Rumbler, Paradise Plume. What is with all the repeats? And Reiterate, followed by Reit. Just kidding. Sigil of the Empty Throne. That's a pretty spicy one. Uh, Utopia Mycon. Uh, Fire Makavu. Yixlid Jailer. And Cross and Grip. Okay. That's a nice card, but it's not that good. And then Hivestone. Okay, I don't remember hearing about that. Wait. Oh, that was the rare. 
Yeah, they're going to the wrong pile again. Whatever, who cares? All right. <laughs> oh, Tybalt, that's a shame. Let me just, uh, hold on, let me. Dang. <laughs> I muted Discord because I'm not other YouTubers. Hollow one, that's, that's a spicy monkey. Okay, let's look that up. Nope. Nope. Apparently Hollow one ain't in the top 60. All right, we got some stupid sliver. Uh, Stronghold rats, cool. Uh, Urza's factory, okay, that's probably like what three, four bucks. And Radha air tickled. She ain't aired any money though. And monastery Swiss spear, okay, that's gotta be a solid five bucks, I betcha. All right, we got Bride Elemental. Minions murmurs, Kuros and grip again. And Magus of the Moon! Woo! Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. I legit don't know what this is worth. <laughs> I think it's like five, ten bucks. Uh, Pest in Flames. Uh, I remember hearing that card's name. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's a tasty blue card right there. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's look up what... Uh, Moon Moon's worth. Oh, eight bucks. Okay. Solid. Solid. And Pest in Flames is another seven dollars. That's a fifteen dollar pack. Alright, we've got Sulfur Elemental. Pendlehaven Elder. Char Rumbler. And oh, this one feels thicker than normal. Oh, Restore Balance. That's a mythic. I don't think it's one of the better ones, but I could be wrong. Uh, I think it's like 200 bucks a box. I didn't even ask. Oh, Relentless Rats. Oh, come on. That's money. And then a Pallid Mysoderm. And a token. Cool. We got Lost Oromancers. Oh, that looks like it has a, a misprint issue, kind of. Eh. I mean, if anything, it's too dark. Okay, whatever. I'll take that. Uh, Cloud Cedar. Urza's Factory. Nice. And Care Keep. I mean, it's a land. That's going to be something. And Sorcerer's Spyglass. I mean, that's banned and everything. Can't be that high. Oh, and then a Foil Sliver. So I'll just go ahead and burn that. Oh, we've got another uh, Dreadship Reef. I don't remember what the couple real high uh, uncommons were, so feel free to shout them out. Avid Mind Sensor. Okay. Look, that was printed as rare recently. Uh, Bonded Fetch. That eye, though. And Sarah Avenger. Oh, Sylvan Scrying. Okay, that's got to be 15 bucks minimum. I'm calling it right now. Haze of Rage. Salt Crusted Step. -a -p 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 you have a mind right and Benalish Commander. I don't know about that one. Leyline of the Void. I mean, that's that's got to be something, right? I mean, come on. $45. Yes, that is that is up there. All right, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We got some. Bro. These nuts. All right. Uh Phantom Worm. I mean, if it turns out they can get them and it matches eBay, okay. You know, whatever. Fine. People are that dumb. Celestial Crusader. Firewake Sliver. Magus of the Future. Not the good Magus. Although I think the good Magus isn't even in here. Field of Ruin, old frame. Ooh, and then we got a Brian Elemental. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. No, 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 no. Ooh. Monkey. Return to monkey. Harmonize. Draw three cards. That is not a green spell. Kelsiform Pools. Bonded Giant Creepy Eyeball. And Lotus Bloom. Okay, I didn't think that was actually in the set. I thought that was outside the set but i have the strangest feeling that the foil ones are going to be worth more so that's probably about a tenner uh they've got thrink tusk and he's cool he ain't worth them but he's cool uh whips spine drake sudden death firewake sliver and heartwood storyteller that doesn't strike me as a good one and uh bedlam reveler eh, too recent not worth anything don't even need to check all right Careful consideration. So, what is with all the calcium and salt in this set? God, they're trying to poison the water supply. There we go. Saltified recluse. He's a salty boy. <laughs> you have a Maya Dryad. She looks pretty salty too. Mangara, the king of salt. 
Oh, there's never been a good Mangara card. And a Johnny Pride Bait. I mean, I'd be personally disappointed if that's below two bucks, but I think it's exactly two bucks. Oh, a Heartwood Storyteller foil. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, we're going to look all these up. Hold on. Mangara. He is 35 cents. Get back on the pile. Yep. Uh, a Johnny's Pride Mate. Uh, 99 cents. That's a shame. And... Oh, that's... Wait. Yeah, that is the old frame. Wow, really? Uh, foil. There we go. That's an $8 foil. Solid. I mean, foil rare. You know, how bad could you get? All right, we got uh, Sulphur Elemental, Pendlehaven Elder, and another Salty Boy, Kelsiform Pools. I don't know. You could have calcium-based salts. It's really more of a more of a category. Crovax. Mm, he's a mythic. Does not strike me as high, but I know I made a joke about him being in uh, that one band. <laughs> Sugar or something? Sugar Bush? Sugar Land? I don't remember. <laughs> if you look it up, it's it's him. Eternal Witness. Uh, and then Storm Entity. Okay. And Slave. We're finally not getting repeats in the uncommons. Darkheart Slivaw. Yanowar Mentor. Just kidding. And uh, Fungus Sliver. Okay, well, that's a sliver, so it's probably you know, something. But Oh, Grey Merchant. Oh, come on. That's gonna be that's gonna be above ten, I bet. Now I got a foil cryptic analid. Gray boy. Captain Gray Pants here. He is five bucks. Okay. That's fair, I guess. I think that the regular of him in, in standard got down to like twenty five cents. So five bucks is like actually kinda good. Hi Cinder! Cinder Shadows in the chat. Woo! I don't know, maybe Canada can improve our, our polls here. All right, here we go. This one's for you, Cinder. Trump the domains. No, go play domain. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Minions Murmurs. Knight of the Holy Canada. And Aeon Chronicler. Oh boy. Oh, Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, they just banned this, but it's still money. That's still money. All right, we got a foil. We got Rebuff the Wicked. Cool. And Mystic is... Thirteen dollars, damn! That's a good, uh, good pack there. Okay. They should have called this band Card Masters, cause I mean we're getting there. Uh, there we go. We have got Corders. Oops, put it over where you guys are. Shivan Meteor, hate that card. Scribe Ranger, and Tomb Stalker. Okay, I think that's one of the kind of okay ones. Uh, then Hedron Archive. Oh, I got a glimpse of what this one is. I got a little bit of a peek while stripping the cards. Buckle up, bitches. Fungal... Oh, there's something wrong with the... Ooh. Ooh, look at that. There's like a bite out of that. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, well, anyway, Fungal Reaches. Time Bender. Uh, best card so far was probably Urborg and Leyline of the Void. Lenoir Mentor, and it's a Chroma's Memorial, bitches! Woo! I, I, I mean, I have. I mean, what, what we got here? We got, My name is Jeff. Sure. Wait, we got some, uh... Bafalation. Sure, why not? I rearranged this whole thing. I don't know what's going on, to be honest. No matter <laughs> And then we've got a Grenzo. Uh, he is not good. A Chroma, though, is a whopping $18 holla. That's enough to add another pickle. <laughs> just, we'll just... There we go. Can you guys see okay? Is it, does this block the view? He is peering into your soul. <laughs> Salty boy. Uh, this, 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 this right here. Uh, YouTube takes 30%, so I mean, that's probably, that's probably all right. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> and Scribe Ranger and Pul Pulmonary Embolism. All right, those aren't good. And Epic Experiment, which is not even technically an epic card. That's why I always hated about this one. I don't think any of those are worth anything. Um, Nightshade 
ass assin. Uh, Prodigal Pyromancer. Knight of the Holy uh, Nimbus. And then we got Venser. Okay, Venser's probably a little bit money. He's cool. And Evolutionary Leap. Okay, I mean, people play that. Oh, we finally got it. We finally got it. Return to... They blew it up, those damn dirty apes. <laughs> it's Pongify. Yes. I love it. Uh, Shiv and Sand Mage. Time Bender. And Pact of Frickin' Negation. That's a good 30, 40 bucks if I remember. Or probably like 20. I don't know. That's not that, that good of a card. Uh, Trigon. He ain't shit. <laughs> Let's see. I'll look up Porygon first here. Let's see. Uh, Trigon. $1.49. Cost more than that to buy a DVD of Trigon. Pact of... Oh, 23 bucks. Holla, holla. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> a good day just gonna send it learn marcy projects marcy son what do you Okay, we have rubbed the money on the remaining five packs. I'm returning it to the pickle fund. All right, we got delay, which you should definitely look up in French. Um, then we got sudden shock, smallpox. Uh, I thought that's a couple bucks. That's one of the higher uncommons, I think. Uh, Kerviak. I don't know about him. Oh, disdainful uh, stroke. Might be a little something. A little spicy boy. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm I'm seeing a little. I gotta peek at this one. I gotta. I don't usually do this, but I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me look this up. <laughs> and uh, what was the other one? Hold on. <laughs> Dude, I, I am buying this off him. Wait until you see this pack. Okay, are you guys ready? <laughs> All right. Keen sense, nobody cares. Lightning axe, kiss my lightning ass. We've got stone cloaker, we don't care. And below it, we've got... Wait, what the f Okay, I guess I was off by one card. Hold on. <laughs> Get out of here, Sengir Nosferatu, which I'm pretty sure is a proper noun. It's probably patented or copyrighted as if they don't have the balls to do that because they just ripped off Dracula. All right, behind it, we've got Chalice of the Void. Boom! That is $60. And behind it, for $35, we've got a Foil Angel's Grace. One of my favorite cards of all time. Oh my god. So this is about a $100 pack, roughly. If I give them enough money, I can classify them as dependents on my taxes. All right, here we go. We got two packs left. And by that, I mean we have three packs left. All right. <laughs> oh, I should have gotten out my gold coins. I don't think these through before I do them. Or really anything in my life. All right, this one I purposely didn't peek at. Here we go. Here we go. I just, I caught a rare and a foil, and I'm like, oh, let's see what it is. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shapeshifter, or sh Shaper Parasite, pardon me. Mystical Teachings. Smallpox, fantastic. Uh, Nether Trader, that's a solid one. That's, that's pretty good money, if I remember correctly. And Ethereal Armor, not one of the better ones at all. And that. All right, let's look up Nether. All right. Um, okay, eight bucks. Yeah, I thought it was, that was like 12, but maybe it was. I don't know. All right, two left. Two left. Let's do it. Let's get rich. All right. Prodigal Pyromancer. Careful consideration. More salty boys. You can't get more saltier than this. Dude, the whole uncommon slot is just salt and calcium there's like eight cards like what the hell uh oh living end oh that's that's one of the better mythics it's not that high but it's one of the better mythics if that doesn't clear 10 bucks dude i'm gonna be pissed oh there you go you want to talk about turning into a pillar of salt path to exile baby Woo! that's a spicy monkey all right let's look that up uh 15 bucks for the path and living end is 
Not spelled that way. There we go. Five dollars? Oh my god, I have pulled the entire bottom half of the mythics. Rough and tumble. Cryptic Annelid. Oh, this is the last pack too, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and walk the aeons or eons or whatever. I, I don't remember. That's uh, I mean, that's an old card. It can't be that low. And uh, oh, mortify. Okay, okay. That's that. But that's a solid six bucks. Let's see, probably more. Oh, dollar fifty. And hell, I must have got that confused with like that other card that's actually good. <laughs> Walk the Eons is four dollar. So yeah, I'd say three hundred to three hundred fifty dollar tile or tile box. With, I guess yeah, Vindicate's a little bit better card. But I was thinking of uh, Abrupt Decay. That's what I was thinking of. That's that's a card that's actually good.